Those Damn Ross Kids is a podcast for adults, and the opinions expressed do not reflect the opinions of our employers or even ourselves. We'd like to hear from you. Give us a call at 419-528-TDRK to leave a voicemail, and we just may play it on the show. I've had people ask me if we're doing anything special for our 50th. No. Why would we? I don't know. They just Oh, it's a it's the golden anniversary of podcasting. You managed to make it beyond three episodes, unlike every other show on this goddamn planet. It's solely on our own. No guests. <laughs> Very little encouragement. A lot of a lot of self motivation happening. What did you think about mom saying that I should be the mayor? Uh, I was very pleased with that. I thought, um, except for the fact that we just recorded 50 episodes of things that would make either of us unelectable to public office. <laughs> it says, that's what I said. I said, don't, <laughs> don't dig too much. You don't even have to dig that much. I mean, we put it right out there. I, I think she boiled it down. She distilled it to a nice, a nice sufferable burn when she said, I need you to be mayor of this town and I need Cole to be in a solid heterosexual relationship <laughs> and be employed. Chris <laughs> standards. <laughs> Kids, a conversation between brothers featuring Chris and Cole Ross. Hey, Chris, what episode is this? This is episode number 50 of the internet comedy podcast, Those Damn Ross Kids. My name is Cole. I am Chris. And I think we're both sick. Uh, so, very sick. Yeah, like... I sound horrible even though i don't know how i sound yeah because I, I don't you, have know, you don't have headphones my daughter, on. i don't know what she did with them <laughs> i have no idea she probably tied a noose and hung a teddy bear i don't know <laughs> but i'm like i'm a i'm a level eight cold warrior right now it's really bad it's it's bad no, no you're, you're no. like almost chinese your eyes are almost shut yeah no man so uh plus you had the time change and, and where are we at with that <laughs> i don't know it's like it's like somebody hit me on the back of the head in the middle of the street and I woke up and I don't understand the stop signs. <laughs> it's just crazy. Of course any any change to you is like somebody moved the toilet. Exactly. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a creature, you know, I'm a creature like change. of stability and a creature of routine, Chris. <laughs> God, they changed the time? What, do I poop in the sink now? <laughs> I don't even have a garbage disposal. I don't even know how to install one. I don't know. I just yeah. think cooking, ba uh, cooking bacon in the bathroom is easier. So I'm going to try and keep the sneezes and sniffles off mic. Chris, I will ask that you do the same just to make editing easier for me as we uh, continue through this. Thank you for laying down the rules. Okay. I agree. <laughs> Begin. Is that my cue? Yeah. Are you going to read off your damn phone again? Yes, I am. It's easier. What kind of hooligan are you? Oh, I'm going to sit here with a laptop that has a gigantic fan that blares out that I have to, that Cole has to EQ out. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. Let's do that. Hmm. Read me a goddamn story. You're a solid state asshole. <laughs> read me a story. <laughs> Geek humor. Woo woo. All right. The most important date in history. Wait, in the history of New York's corduroy appreciation club is fast approaching and the club is still searching for its savior the band of fabric fans are seeking a, a child who turns 11 on november 11th of 2011 the date the club says most closely resembles the ribs of its favorite <laughs> rigid textile that child is the messiah of corduroy says the club the founder of the club we liken it to finding the dalai lama the New York-based club said it had already been contacted by twins from Wisconsin who will turn 11 on November 11th, but are looking for a locally-based child to attend their grandest meeting in Manhattan on that date. The child will be, insta will be installed on a throne and generally treated like a textile royalty after being carried into the meeting. According to its website, the Corduroy Appreciation Club wishes to cultivate good fellowship by the advancement of corduroy awareness, as well as understanding, celebration, and commemoration of the fabric and all related items. You know, they set the record for the world's noisiest walkathon. <laughs> one note tab, <laughs> section one. <laughs> So these people are so enthusiastic about their corduroy that they are seeking the golden child. They are. Yeah. 
My real one, the tab was Swish Bash. Swish Bash. Well, uh, I, I don't understand. I mean, a lot of there's a lot of numerological uh, good voodoo around November the 11th. But uh, do you know the uh, like there there are a bunch of people who believe that every like if you look at a clock and it says 11 11 that's because an angel's thinking about you or something like that so there's like these whole like astrological horoscope kind of like websites dedicated towards like angels and them inter interacting with humans through digital clocks hmm. so it's it's strange that that flavor of crazy meets up with this flavor of crazy which is people who um identify and label themselves as you know part of the corduroy tribe the club was started as a joke, actually. What? It was started as a joke to, to mock secret societies. Oh, and then so they <laughs> started accumulating membership, and obviously members pay dues, and it became something that made sense. So it's like Scientology. Uh, kind of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's great. I like that. Well, you know, hopefully that kid hopefully that kid gets it. Hopefully that kid, you know, isn't from a warm climate because corduroy is like the most uncomfortable thing in the world. To it is, it's also. terrible. Yeah. It, it came in came into vogue uh, when I was in middle school. Yeah. It was a cool thing to do. <laughs> to do the corduroy? Yeah, is, that, to like, do that. is that a special dance? The corduroy is an activity. Yeah. Anything that makes noise is an activity. <laughs> you, I played the pants in my seventh grade year with myself. Exactly. A lot, I, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Where that doesn't. From. That no, that doesn't sound like it should. Well, no, I joined a I joined a bluegrass quartet as the washboard player, wearing just corduroy pants, and every time I just jog on tempo. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Neat. Yeah. Would you like to entertain me now? Yeah, I can entertain you. Okay. Uh, since we're talking about uh, crazy uh, gatherings of people, can I tell you about uh, the newest gang in town? Chris? Absolutely. Yeah. The FBI has classified Juggalos, fans of the rap group The Insane Clown Posse, as a gang. Juggalos are considered a, quote, hybrid gang like the Latin Kings, since they have no strict, you know, leadership except for uh, Violent J and Shaggy Too Dope. It's uh, the, the it's, you think it would be too, like T-O-O, like a modifier, like, oh, just like way too dope, but it's actually a letter two. That's efficiency, Chris. That's efficiency. The report goes on to say that, quote, most crimes committed by juggalos are sporadic, disorganized, individualistic, and often involve simple assault, personal drug use and possession, petty theft and vandalism. However, an open source reporting suggests that a small number of juggalos are forming more organized subsets and engaging in more gang-like criminal activities such as felony assaults, thefts, robberies, and drug sales. The Juggalo community has started a petition on change.org in an attempt to get the government to remove the gang classification from their gang. What's that sound? A bus saw. <laughs> what are you? Well, slash angle grinder. Why? What's happening? There's somebody across the street doing home improvement at 7 p.m. on makeup. Sunday. <laughs> I'm just imagining Tim Taylor dressed up like a juggalo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Born so. the number two, make noise. <laughs> yeah. I think that they would have lots to talk about because ICP makes noise and the guy across the street makes noise. For makes me noise. Well. Yes. That, that's exactly what, that we hear that's what happens here that we hear here. Yes. Um, yeah. But they have midgets in their show. That guy is a midget. <laughs> He's a, midget, he's a midget juggalo. Yeah. And, you know, the things that people go go through to fit in, right? Exactly. He, he's, he, he, is, he, is, he is a square peg, Chris. This is a round hole. I don't even know why you would actually pay what is almost $350,000 to be made into a midget cat. <laughs> okay, so you're saying that he is a midget juggalo furry? Absolutely. Yeah? No, he's not a furry. Does he he's LARP? a cat. He's a cat. <laughs> He's not furry because he has follow through. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, he's he's the thing that the king at the LARPing pets on his lap on the weekends. He's the lap cat. He's lap cat. <laughs> That's what he does. That's oh, his role man. in the LARP. Yep. Cool. Now, you know, just it's we're all trying to find our place, Chris. He found his. He found his. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. It's warm. <laughs> So the, it's a warm little cozy spot in between the king's legs, in, in between the king's ponderous thighs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm. snuggle Lean up in there. A purple crush velvet, purple crush corduroy. Mm. Shh. Shh. This is getting too hot. This Neat. is getting too sexy. Chris, tell me a story. Why? 
because I want to hear a story. All right. The New York the New York Times is reporting that the son of the partner of a law firm. Follow that? Okay. The son yeah. of a partner of a law firm. Okay. Is suing a photography studio for forty eight thousand dollars because the photographer missed the last dance and the bouquet toss at his wedding. Okay. Sounds like the photographer didn't do his job. Absolutely. Continue. But the problem is, is that today, while he's suing, it's eight years after the 2003 wedding and one year after his divorce. <laughs> he wants the photography studio to pay for his ex-wife to, to fly from Latvia so that he can have another photographer shoot a recreation of what must have been for him a very joyous event. He's quoted as saying, I need to have the wedding recreated exactly as it was so that the remaining 15% of the wedding that was not shot can be shot. So he wants to have like a book of memories that he can just sob over uh, it, it seems <laughs> like it. as he tries to like Everyone... reassemble the shattered pieces of his life. Yeah. The shattered pieces of his spoiled law child life. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 The, the photographer in this case that's being sued, it's like 87 years old. <laughs> God. Yeah, and uh, you know the the fact that the guy that's suing doesn't even know where his wife moved back to in Latvia. Like, he doesn't know <laughs> where she lives, but he wants her to fly back so that he can recreate this mess. Did he buy this woman? It's possible. I mean, I think it's safe to assume that whenever a, a, a rich American male weds or commits a union to somebody from a former Soviet bloc country, that there, there there is money changing hands and not in the dowry sense. Right? I guess. Yeah. So so he wants... <laughs> That's so weird. So he's not suing for mon for, for like monetary gain. No, he's 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 suing like if, if they can just get those photos, everything's clear. He's good. He's good. Okay, I gotcha. He's basically what he's saying is let's make make a memory. <laughs> let's remake a memory. No, let's Chris. make make a memory. Let's make make a memory. Yeah. I, I, like I'm, the Bon Jovi song. Chris, you got to hold on to what you got. You and me or, a bottle or of wine. You, or what you never, what you never had. Night. Oh, oh. Chris, now that's I'm, Eagle Eye Cherry. What happened to him? He got squashed. He was opening up for fastball. He got crushed by the scaffolding. He was opening for fastball? He was opening for fastball. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, nobody showed him the way. Was that the album title? No. <laughs> or was that the fastball song? That, that, that was the yet. chorus from the fastball song. I was a tremendous fastball fan. As you a, were. As you, a you had their, their, their CD. Yeah, no, I love that. was like yeah, one of the first Yeah, you read the CD. jacket notes and it, stuff. Yeah, yeah that was, that was like, one of the first CDs I like, owned of my own volition. That, yeah. that, that actually predated the first CD, CD that I bought with my own money was Red Hot Chili Peppers' Californication. But I asked for the fastball CD for Christmas. And in fact... Those songs are still like on my iTunes. Like so really, they're good. They're good songs. Wow, I like them. It's a blast from the past. Huh? That makes you like a Torx bit. Well, well I don't understand. You, well, you're not a flathead or a Phillips head tool. <laughs> you're a specialty tool. I'm not good for much, Chris. Eh, yeah, you amuse me, or I make you amuse me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You, you lock me in these rooms for these sessions. Yeah, so. you own it. <sighs> oh, man, <laughs> you, you purchased. And drive to be able to make this happen. You, you you bought the equipment, and then you come over and you you do this. So I I don't. It's it's like some kind of crazy BDSM role play. Like no, Chris, don't make me podcast with you. Yeah, the goddamn guy's sawing again. Hey, did Chris, you, did Chris, you hear it's, that? It's, yeah, I hear it. I hear him. I, I I have the headphones on. I'm monitoring this shit. So okay, okay, all right. I got it. It's fine. So we're gonna have to shorten this up because I'm gonna go hack that guy up, and we're gonna have a few minutes till the <laughs> Chris, police arrive. Chris, that midget juggalo cat. He he's got enough in his life. Let him let him build his set for his recreation of uh you know of 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 our town. I just wondered how a cat puts a carpenter pencil behind his ear. <laughs> I, I think Garfield did that a bunch. There, did he? There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Heathcliff when he when he when he ate that. Don't do that again. No? No. Or Heathcliff? Yeah. The Heath the Heath Heathcliff's well is dry. It's dry. It's <laughs> okay. bone dry. But it's like the fish bones that he pulls <laughs> yeah, out. There yeah. Go. There we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Leave that breadcrumb trail for me, man. It takes it takes me a minute. I'm loopy with cold medicine. Well, speaking of brides who are probably bought, can I tell you about a bride who was definitely bought? Sure. A Manchester, England man named Ricky Latouche, which is an amazing name, pled guilty to manslaughter charges after suffocating his wife, a Thai woman named Pornpilai Sisroy. 
Her first name is Porn. Porn Palai. Hmm. Porn Palai. I thought that was weird. Hmm. If you deep fried her, would she be tempura porn? <laughs> the killing happened during a... F- it's tragic. It's tragic. The killing happened during a fight. You don't sound too broken up about it. <laughs> <laughs> during a fight that resulted after Sris Roy destroyed Ricky's Star Wars toys and threatened to leave him and return to Thailand. He attacked her, suffocated her, and then he ran to his mother's house in tears. He faces 12 years in prison. You know, in like real jail or like Lindsay Lohan jail? <laughs> in like real jail. Wow. So he's going to yeah. really do the whole time. I think so. Yeah. Wow, that's like when you, when you, when you straight ice cold kill a woman, I think you go to real jail when you do cocaine and you she don't show up for parole. Trinkets. What's that? She smashed his Well, trinkets. we need to talk about who the real, who the real victim is here. That first edition mint condition in box Boba Fett. Yeah. She smashed up. There was no reason to do that. She can threaten to leave all she wants. That's something you can work out. You can say, hey, we need our space. But you cannot take that back when you destroy that Boba Fett. He could have sold that toy and bought her village. <laughs> Where are you going to run to? I own it. I own it. I own this. Everywhere she goes, he just buys. You know what? If I have to, I'll sell Slave 1. Going to come after you. Yeah, all right? That's you know? it. R2-D2 plus C-3PO together with the uh, Cantina Band all together. In the box, new. In unplayed. the box, new. Unplayed with. Oh, he's fantasized about it, but Chris fantasies don't leave fingerprints. I don't That's know. what I told the judge several times. But yeah, he just <laughs> just straight nerd rage just went up and just choked her out. Just choked her out. I don't know how you're laughing about this? It's it's. I mean, it's this it's is... it's awful, but it's kind of funny. She's she's an she's an attract. Sorry, whoa, I got a little bit excited there. No, she's an attractive woman too. You, you try to attack Here's that like a... damn phone. You're trying to break neck over. <laughs> That's what happened. Oh man, I you can't... can move your left hand. You don't have to reach over and just yeah. mouth the mic. Our, our little armature that we have here to set up the microphones. It's, it's not it's not my 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 slick you know, boom arm performance that I have uh, at the home studio. Yeah. Instead you insist on locking me up here. No, I was going to show you a picture of her. It's tragic. I mean, she, she could have, I'm looking at it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it was good. And then he looks like a mook. Well, it was posted on the, on the Facebook by Sasha. By by, by Sasha. Thank you, Sasha. Yeah. Just don't, don't touch memorabilia. Okay. You can, you can threaten to leave. You can break my heart, but don't break my fat comma Boba. Cause you know what, Chris, he's got jets. Okay. (laughs) god damn it i hate you so much okay i'm trying to drop some mc chris science and you just you just slam me you spike it you spike it right into the hey call where we at time wise uh 22 minutes can i drop a quiz on you i would love it i would love it when if you would drop a quiz on me it's been a long time it's been a while since i've done a quiz yeah for you for for me your quizzes um universally are better uh, than mine. So I, I believe that our, our, our listeners uh, will, will believe that we are responding to their complaints by Absolutely. you doing this. Yeah. My quiz is they put bleachers in the yard for all the boys. <sighs> all right. So I was doing the pre pre pro for the show, doing the, you know, the looking up and the research and everything. Yeah. yeah. And I have my windows open and there was fresh air blowing and I heard. <laughs> okay. It was not a growling large animal it was a shotgun blast somebody is shooting off shotguns in the park yeah yeah no i'm in the woods and so i thought wow it's thanksgiving it's hunting time people are trying to kill things to eat them when they should just go to the store and buy meat yeah and so i thought why not do a quiz about hunting <laughs> chris you just wandered right into my wheelhouse yeah i think i might have yeah except for I'm talking about animals. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Not hunting for Thai brides. <laughs> no. Okay. Or excuses. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what what are the terms right. of this quiz? So concern? what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to give you three hunting terms. And you're going to tell me which one is fake. Sounds simple enough. Let's do this. Okay. Number one. Big running, low hung, bipod. Is part of the quiz to figure out where the spaces go? No. I'm going to say big running. Big running is real. God damn it. Yeah. Okay. It's a dog that ranges widely. Okay. Whereas a bipod is a two-legged support often used by varmint hunters. And low hung is something I made up. Okay. What would low hung describe? Like, like, a, like a deer blind that was low? It low connected the, the two terms. Okay. 
<laughs> there we go. I understand the logic. So you're out for one. Okay. All right. Number two. Okay. Shaky legged, full body, double O. I'm going to say double O. Double O is real. God. James Bond? No. Yeah. It's a simple puddle duck rig consisting of two groups of decoys. <laughs> puddle duck? Yes. Okay. Which is like a mallard or, or something like that. Shallow water ducks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah like you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> full body being field decoys that represent the entire body of the geese and shaky legged representing the correct answer. Um, <laughs> oh, man. So you're 0 oh and 2? Okay. Right? Are there 5? Yeah, there are 5. Okay. Okay. So really, you just need to lose this one. We can stop. <laughs> no, no, we're going to do the whole thing. I need All to be right. humiliated, Chris. Tight-lipped, inside-spread lady pose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I'm going to say that lady pose is real. Tight-lipped, inside what? Inside-spread. Inside-spread. <laughs> I'm going to say tight-lipped. Tight-lipped is real. Oh, God. This is actually one of my favorite ones. <laughs> It's a turkey that doesn't gobble in response to a call. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's shy. Whereas he's the shy inside, turkey. yeah, the inside spread is the uh, distance between an animal's antlers measured at the widest point from the inside of each antler. Okay. I mean, lady pose is sexy, <laughs> but not real. <laughs> no, I figured it would be in, like in a, terms of fun. Like, right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> lady pose. That's fine. Yeah. Just, just, just Google that. That'll be fine. Yeah. But, um, um, I figured that lady pose would be like a decoy, like a doe that was presenting. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you spray pheromones on it and then you get the bucks to come to it. Uh -huh, right? Yeah. yeah honey pot. That's a my fantasy too. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I chose it is to fool you. Cause okay. I know what you do with that. <laughs> yeah, I, get, I've get set up cardboard hard. slash 3d styrofoam cutouts for you to bang <laughs> and you've done it on video for me. So I know where you're at with lady. Pose. Is that where those checks are coming from? Well, this, see, the thing about it is, is that I've made female hind ends yeah. presenting to you. And unless I put a speech bubble that says, Cole, you're, you're employable and a good person, <laughs> you don't bang it. Exactly. Which is good restraint for you, but kind of amazing. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell me the next one. Tell me the next one. The fact that she's banging you doesn't give you the self-esteem you need. She needs to verbalize some sort of like, a, you um, know, some, a, like, a, like an you. affirmation. Yeah. yeah, she does. Yeah. 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 She needs to lie to me, essentially. Most of them do. In most ways. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Number four, you can't win. Like you could anyway. <laughs> well, we right. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, what's new? All right. Smashing chinks offset jaws. <laughs> okay, wait. So it's smashing, smashing chinks, chinks offset jaws. jaws. I'm going to say smashing. Smashing is correct. Okay, cool. Because like chinks would be like a gap in something, right? No, uh, chinks are uh, loose fitting chaps for summer riding. Okay, assuming you know, like you're on a fox hunt or something. Mm -hmm. And um, offset jaws are a type of trap. Okay, there we go. So I, I'm at least saving some face here. Yeah, you won one for three, right? Okay, well, yeah, one, 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 one three. Good job. Hey, and the last one: brush loads, mop up, breast sponge. <laughs> I'm going to say the first one. Brush loads is real. Ah, oh, man. It is a shotgun shell containing either flat or square shot. Oh, so you can shoot it in so the brush. So you can shoot it in get, the brush. Get, get like exactly. a rabbit out of there. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Mop-up is fake, and a breast sponge is a spongy deposit above the breastbone where adult males uh, store fat prior to the breeding season. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's... that's uh, it's a quiz. <laughs> That's the quiz that you did horribly at. Yeah, you're all right. Okay, you know, whatever. whatever. It's more about me than you. <laughs> it is. I am secondary to this experience. The show and the quiz. <laughs> really, this this show is just a it's it's a medium through which you can be delivered to the listeners. I understand that. I understand that. Chris, a motorist in Georgia was baffled when an agitated naked couple wandered out into the street in front of his car. What's happening? Why is this naked lady and dude here? The man and woman were looking for their Dachshund, also known as a wiener dog, who ran off after being fed an LSD-laced gummy bear. The couple admitted to partaking in LSD, marijuana, and alcohol that evening. The dog was hit by a car and found by a family member and then died shortly thereafter. How is your party? 
in the middle of the woods. I knew you were going to take the story. Completely rocked off your gourd. Did you see the mug shots of these people? No, I didn't. Oh, can they can, can you show it. them to me? Can you show them? No, I'm not going to show you. No, <sighs> I can't look it up. I saw the story. We'll, I'll show it to you off the uh, off the podcast. But okay. these people, they're ready to go. <laughs> they've they've yeah. been out a little bit too oh, they, long. They're ready to go. They're kind of right. Mm-hmm. Kind of kind of right for the yep. picking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. A little bit disheveled. Are we talking like Breaking Bad meth? People? I'm just talking about like they should have passed down. The dog should eat them. <laughs> this story like, is like the reverse of what should have happened. <laughs> that poor dog is a victim yeah. in this. Did Somebody he... was feeding him, you know, laced candies. Speaking of which, <laughs> as you inhale a vodka infused gummy bear. Yeah, that's a. Uh... Let me let me chew this into the mic here. Um, <laughs> you said that's the reason you knew I was going to pick this story. Eat a few more of these, and I'll put my kid in you. <laughs> <laughs> just start going crazy. <laughs> hey, kid. Hey, how, how's it going? You want some gummy bears? Mm-hmm. I'll give you some gummy bears. Yeah, no um, doubt. Are you from Jersey? Are you going to yeah. break my face? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So. But no, this couple's totally jacked up. I mean, I love to get dogs all messed up, but you know, <laughs> you put them on a leash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Keep them yeah. confined to an area. Put up a put yeah. them in a pack and play, and just let them go wild. It's a tiny dog. Absolutely. Why are you, why are you taking them to your to your Wood Times Fun Park orgy sex land concert jam session? I don't even know. Yeah, as you as you play your djembe and talk about the spirits. What's a djembe? That's a, it's like one of those drums that like where you like depending on how you squeeze it, it changes the tone. You know, it's it's what uh, hippies and drum circles play. Wow! But uh, you, you know, it's 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 just one of those it's one of those things that people do, huh? Mm-hmm. You know what people do? What do people do? They Chris? bang. Do they? Yeah, I'm sure people just hey, bang. You know what? If people stop, I'm against people stopping banging because if they stop banging, we wouldn't have more people to make fun of. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. The, for the sustainability of this enterprise, you guys have to have as much sex as possible. Yeah. I find Africans have a lot of sex too. Yeah, yeah. You know, what? There are people. Do you want to cry a liberal tear? Or can no, I do my story? No, they're they're I said they're, African, they're 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 they're, they're, they're people too. Europeans bang a lot. I'm pretty sure Asians do as well. Yeah, Asians are really good bang at banging. A lot. Asians are really good at banging. Chris, do you know how many people there? Like how many Asians there are? There are like too many Asians. Nah, they have an unfair advantage. There, like, there are so many Asians. They Chris. live in small houses. They, in they, close proximity. They, they do. Like, they can't turn around. Like, they can't share a sink while they're brushing their teeth without going inside each other. Exactly. Yeah. No. There's like uh, there are too many Asians. There are. Which is actually the name of my children's book. But continue. <laughs> too many Asians. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, it's a serious. Is, it's a serious problem. What is that about? What? <laughs> it's about the population crisis, Chris. Is it about how self-conscious a panda feels? <laughs> I can't have sex with all these Asians watching me, okay? That's, yeah, I mean, I can't do that. Yeah. They want me to make more. Yeah. But I can't. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. They grow faster than bamboo. So, an engaged South African couple expecting their first child to found out that they're actually brother and sister. Whoops. The unnamed couple made the shocking discovery when their families met to discuss mar- marriage arrangements ahead of their baby's birth next month. Neither knew that they had a sibling as they were brought up separately following their parents split. The girl was raised by her mother while her brother was raised by the father about 50 miles away. Their families were brought together for the first time to observe the traditional South African custom of Lobola where the groom pays his fiance's family for the girl's hand in marriage. A dowry. Yeah. 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 They're quoted as saying, it was love at first sight when they met at university almost five years ago. We have so much in common. We kind of, we kind of look says, like each other. When I first saw him, we connected. No shit, right? <laughs> no shit. We were connected. We, it's like we shared some it was kind like of bond. We shared parents. It's like there's like it's a, it's a yeah. blood. We're in each other. We're inside each other, and we're inside each other. Parts of us in and around and about us. We she share says, a chromosome. We, we fell in love, and since that day, we never looked back. <laughs> You might Until want to look back today. just a little bit. Until, Until today. We did we looked back five years ago. We didn't ever look back. Yeah. We, now we look back. We we didn't look back until we found out our kids had like really far apart eyes and very sloped foreheads. Yeah. yeah. She like said just she says tiny, tiny wanted, noses. She says all we wanted to do was just have a family and many kids. Poor language skills. Now 
Yeah. Shit's changed. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> like, she don't, she don't love Bubbo no more. No, oh, no, no. No. Like, like you know, they'll yeah. still have Christmas together, but... Yeah, you know. but not in the same way. Right, yeah, not yeah. in the same way. Yeah. yeah. Awkward. I'm not, I'm not a religious person, Chris. Yeah. Um, but I do believe that every uh, family should have a Bible where there is a rudimentary family tree, you know, kind of scripted out various dates of marriage and conception, just, you know, just a, just a big, a big musty tome that has at the front and you know, basic information about the family that everybody can reference. And, you know, throughout the rest of it, you know, general parables that people can choose whether or not to follow. I don't care. The first part is what is what's important. How poor are these records kept? Cause like the Amish are on top of this shit. They are. Well, yeah, they keep, they keep like charts and stuff like as they, and they like rotate people around and they go from community to community and make sure that they're not, you know, marrying cousins to each other really? as they go. Like with these really insular kind of communities to say they're on top of it, you know, on top of it, isn't really that accurate because actually that is a problem when you're so insular, you know, inbreeding is always going to be an issue, but at least there's, you know, something being kept, but come on. It's yeah. like Luke and Leia level shit. Well, that's like, that's pretty sterile analysis. It, it was kind of boring. <laughs> I listened to some of it. I faded in and out. But, um, it says, uh, she's quoted as saying, we're going to have a child together. We don't know what we will tell him or her when they grow up. Wait a minute. So they're, so they're continuing to go through with it. That's my next sentence. They have now ended their relationship and are discussing future arrangements for their kid. The man, Bobo. He's saying we can't think straight at the moment, and we'll just take everything one step at a time. Yeah, that's <laughs> tragic. <laughs> that poor kid. Yeah. Oh that, man, that poor kid. Yeah. Yeah. That, that poor kid that walks on his hands and stirs cookies with his feet. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get Facebook to these people. Stat. Absolutely. Exactly. <laughs> there are very few instances where Facebook can improve somebody's life. Mm -hmm. uh, usually it ruins or has a uh, absolutely no effect or adds nothing to it. But this is one of those things where you can suss that out. Thanks, you know. Mark. Thanks for <laughs> keeping me from banging my sister. Yeah, then no, it's a, it's a constant vigilance. I know that's what you were thinking about. The success has nothing to do with it. Really, you were just trying to keep from incest. That's yeah, it. That, 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 that was that was your end game here, Chris. Mm -hmm. that, that was the end game. Yeah, man. These I have to say, the more of these, the more of these gummy uh, gu vodka gummy bears I have, the, the the better they get. Yeah, yeah. I know, right? Incestial, <laughs> not planets banging. Chris, can I uh, can I kind of tell you a story that is in line with some of my previous uh, some of my previous uh, fixations and obsessions? Yeah. File this one under piss everywhere. Haven't talked about this in a while. You stole my story. Okay. A 67-year-old man in Florida has been identified and charged after urinating into a bank's drive through pneumatic tube. This act of aggressive pissing was provoked after the bank refused to issue him a money order. He then pulled the canister out of the tube and urinated into it, leaving it for the next customer to open and spill all over themselves. <laughs> I was reading this and all that I could think of was whenever, like as a kid, I was, you know, driving through the, driving through the bank, you know, it's mm -hmm. like, it's like, oh, you can have him give me a sucker. <laughs> and then vroom, it's like, oh gosh, I love it. I love watching the tube. It's, you know, it's amazing technology yeah, it's when you're four. How much urine was in there? With your <laughs> so sucker. much urine with my little sucker. And it's like, and it's like a rapper that did nothing. Just, just piss soaked everywhere. <laughs> yeah. I don't never use those. Never, ever use the tubes. Always walk in. Because if there's somebody's tending the tubes, Chris, yeah. then they're inside. Just go in, talk to somebody, share a moment but you with a person. You didn't face say why face. the guy did it. Okay, tell me why did he do it? The sheriff's deputy said that the customer uh, suspected of urinating in the tube pulled into the drive-thru on 8:50 and asked uh, if they sold money orders. When he was told no, he became upset and mumbled something about bad customer service, and then pissed in the tube. <laughs> I said that. He said he did it because he didn't have a money order. Yeah, but... Well, okay. Bad he customer mumbled. service. Bad customer. <laughs> it's, it's like, I just, I just picture... It's, 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 it's Milton from uh, from Office Space. I guess so. Miss Ware, one, one day, I'll piss my, all over this place. My OneNote tab. What's your OneNote tab, Chris? My liquidity? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chris, tell me a final story. All right. Salesman 
Zubair Ali was arrested after a bruised and tearful prostitute staggered into the lobby of a hotel. She told police Ali attacked her in a drunken fight over her 500 dirham or $136 fee. She said she went to his private first floor suite after meeting him in the bar. They argued while having sex and the prostitute refused to carry on unless Ali paid more. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> She charged more for arguing about the charge. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Like he, like she, she played just the tip for like fifty. Oh, okay. And she upped it to one thirty six for normal charge. For, oh, okay. For full pen. Yeah. You know. Yeah. For for a full yeah. penny. Charge a penny yeah. for a penny. But I she decided you. that she, like, she would lure him in. Oh, okay. Like the bear trap of vagina is. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I, I was, I was With thinking offset jaws. Well. Uh, but there, there's a term for that, like, like, like for like when that happens, like when that occurs in myth, the uh, the the notion of of teeth inside a vagina, it's called vagina dentata. Like it, it goes back to like ancient Indian like prophecies and stuff. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's like used to justify misogyny and, huh. and shit like that. The but... nightmare I have nightly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I figured that she charged him more for the argument because that like breached into no, like hate no, play. No, 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 no. 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 Okay. Like a girlfriend experience, like arguing over who picks up the check. Yeah, they were arguing, and he said, "Well, forget it, piss on it." And then yeah, he was he up, he was upcharged. He he was accessorizing a service like too, yeah. way 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 too much. Didn't happen. W what? No, I mean, oh, like okay. it didn't it didn't work out. <laughs> okay, yeah. They said they argued while they argued while they were having sex and refused to pay. She said, "Pay more." Blah blah blah. She said that the uh, enraged dude then threw her out the window. He threw her bodily from a window? Yeah. He threw her out the window. Which is why she then landed <laughs> with severe injuries and staggered into the hotel lobby I wasn't and explained what attention. happened. Yeah. God. Yeah. Talk about disproportionate. Yeah. Huh. Defenestration. I'm I only pay flying hookers. <laughs> that's that's who I pay. The de de defenestration, that's the word for that. Did what for throwing somebody out out of a window? Defenestration. Huh. Yeah. Wow. Penetration to to defenestration. Words. <laughs> Word power. I'm gonna let you play with that. Oh uh, yeah. It's a it's a it's a it's a jungle gym for the mind. The English language is. <laughs> it's a put off. <laughs> that's 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 mostly what it is. Should we end it? Yeah. Okay. No, you should. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to keep living. You stop. <laughs> this has been Those Damn Baskets. <laughs> so, Chris, what can our listeners do? Visit us. Visit us on the internet. We have a, we have a nice little corner uh, carved out, a little niche, if you will. Talk about us. Talk about us to your friends. Never stop. No matter how much they tell you to stop, don't stop. The holidays are coming up. We love special gifts. We do. If you would like to contact us on the Facebook page, that's something you can do. Might be able to give you some sort of physical location to mail us something yeah. that doesn't have snakes in it. We will we will compensate you for not putting a snake in it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sand snakes. We cleverly put this in after most of the pagan holidays. Yep. <laughs> so that if you're that person, you don't send us anything. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. But uh, you can also check, it out, check us out on iTunes. Leave us a rating or a review. That really helps us out. It helps new people find the show. And uh, most of all, you can, you can uh, keep on listening in spite of our sniffles. That's that's really about all you can do. Yeah, that's it. I mean, if, I mean, if we make it, we make it. Yeah. We don't. It's probably your fault. Good night. Good night.